Hello, I am Francesca and here I am again, Dolly and I. Without Dolly, no chats. So, what would I like to speak to you about today? You see these lovely flowers I have on my hair and they remind me of the spring, the summer, the long days, the balmy weather. And it isn't balmy, it isn't summer, it isn't spring, it is cold. The days are short. It is November. And I'd like to speak to you about something I don't agree with in the least, and I know that a lot of people don't. And it is the fact that in October, at least in Europe, when the days start getting shorter, the governments decide to make them even shorter. Then when we get to the end of March, all of a sudden, the days are getting longer by themselves, which is part of nature. And what do the governments do? They advance one hour and make the days incredibly long. I do like very long days, don't, don't misunderstand me, but I don't enjoy these very short ones. And a lot of people go to work in the dark, come home in the dark. What is the explanation for changing the hour? Is to save electricity, is one of them. I don't think we save electricity because the electricity we don't use in the morning, we use in the evening. The amount of daylight is still the same. So it is quite ridiculous. Another one, it's because of the Second World War. So that the Germans couldn't see in the dark, well, they could still bomb during the day, if you ask me. And I think they did a lot of bombing in the dark as well, unfortunately. So, and I think the Second World War is gone, has been gone, fortunately, for a very long time. I hope we won't have a third one. And so that explanation can't be correct either. Another one here in the UK is the farmers in Scotland. Well, to be honest, nowadays all over the world, farmers even farm during the night. They have huge machines with lights. I lived in France in the countryside and I don't think that daylight or the darkness ever stopped them f from farming. So that explanation, I think, is not true either. Also, because why would the farmers in uh, Scotland impact Portugal, Spain uh, and Italy? So that wouldn't make sense. Another explanation is children going to school in the morning. Now, bear with me. Most children now are taken to school by car. The, the time that uh, children would walk with their parents or on their own school is long gone. It makes maybe some sense in Holland where a lot of children cycle to school. Uh, children in Portugal don't cycle to school. I am Portuguese, so I know. So that explanation also is probably not true. And maybe schools could start half an hour later or an hour later. I, I don't see why the whole world changed, or at least Europe uh, changes the hour because children go to school early. It doesn't seem right either. So why? A while ago, a lady in the supermarket said to me, I'm so sad soon the hour is going to change and I'm not going to see much daylight anymore and I'm going home in the dark. I said, I agree with you. I don't like it. I think it's bad for the body. It is bad for the morale as well because when the days are light, if I am, uh, for example, doing my shopping in the center of Cardiff, I still go on doing things full of energy. Now at four o'clock it gets dark and I think, oh, it's time to go home, put my feet up, uh, cook dinner. 
But she baffled me. She said, no, they will never change it. It has been like this forever. It will never change. If it has been like this forever and we don't like it, or there is no reason or it doesn't work, the more reason to change it, if you ask me. The problem is we end up being sheep. We don't use our heads anymore. We don't think for ourselves. There is no consultation. Years ago, they stopped the changing of the Howard in Portugal and then they reinstated it again because so they said people were going to the beach until late. But if I go to the beach until late, that's my own business, not theirs. And do people go to the beach late from uh, October? the beginning of October to March, or the end of October to the end of March, I don't think so. So I think that it is one of those things like a lot of laws. It doesn't make sense, but nobody takes the time to think about it. And I think that we need to start using our heads and not just doing things because they have always been this way. This is just one example that I just thought about because it was getting dark uh, and it is still the middle of the afternoon and it's going to get far worse because we are not in the middle of November yet. So just imagine in uh, the middle of December. Who could I talk to to try to convince them? not to change the how ever again. I don't know. I read in the paper some years ago that the UK was considering not changing the how for three, three years and see how it worked out. But nothing came of it. It's also very disrupting if you have a little baby with feeding times. If you forget to change your clock, which has happened to me, and you take the children to school at the wrong time or you have an appointment and you don't arrive there. It can be disruptive in all kinds of ways. This year I had an important audition on the day after the, the time changed. And I, I can't see any reason to tamper with nature. The days become shorter and then longer in a natural way. Why changing the hour? I don't know. If you do, please write on the comments. Leave a like if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and hope to see you again very soon. It's always a pleasure to interact with you. And soon it will be spring and the days will get longer.